Good evening, everyone. Um, we'll get started in just a few minutes. We wanna give um, our presenter a moment to finish getting set up, um, as well as let any um, last minute people joining the call hop on. So we'll get started in just a few minutes. Hello and good evening, um, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, my name is Patty Cruz and I am the Energy Public Engagement Associate um, with Central Coast Community Energy, your local energy provider. Um, here is our agenda for today. I will let you know that this presentation is being recorded and you will be able to view this presentation in our YouTube channel at Central Coast Community Energy. Um, sometime this week. So stay tuned for that, just in case you need to drop a uh, log off and um, you'll be able to watch this soon. So like I mentioned, here's our agenda for today. Um, I will talk about who Central Coast Community Energy is and how we provide clean and renewable energy to the community. I'll share a sneak peek of our customer portal, portal which is coming soon. And then I will touch upon some of the resources that are available to you to assist in paying your electricity cost. Then I will outline Central Coast Community Energy's rate options for 2022 and show you how to use our tool for comparing our 2022 service options. And then at the end, we will have um, time to answer questions. So please use the Q&A functionality to submit your questions. The chat box is best reserved for our staff to drop relevant links for your use. So please don't clutter the chat box. I want to note that the first three topics are relevant to all of our current, new, and upcoming customers. The second portion of this presentation, which is focused on our 2022 rate options, is in relevant um, two categories for customers. So our uh, CCC customers in the Southern California Edison service area will be served by a different rate structure. So the second portion of this presentation is not relevant to them. Um, additionally, our customers in the PG&E service area who are starting with us after November 1st will automatically enroll in our default service offering. So you may wish to listen to the second portion if you want to learn more about our rate setting uh, strategies um, with our standard service offering. So to begin the overview on Central Coast Community Energy, it's good to explain what type of agency we are. We are a government agency uh, known as Community Choice Aggregator or CCA in short. Cities and counties can come together and build a CCA with the purpose of sourcing the energy for their communities. The investor owned utilities will still deliver the energy to the customers, but a CCA can take control over how and where the energy is generated. 
Assuming control over a piece of the energy rent revenue also allows them to pay back uh, and reinvest in the communities through energy incentives and rebates, grants, and help our customers make the transition to clean energy future. Um, Central Coast Community Energy, who we are. Um, this was formed in 2018, and our agency is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions through local control and the implementation of innovative energy programs that facilitate the electrification of the transportation and built environments. And now we represent 33 cities and counties from Santa Cruz to Santa Barbara County. By 2024, 50% of our customers in the state of California will be served by CCA. So how does this work? Well, let me tell you, our responsibility is selecting where the energy comes from. We procure energy that meets the clean and renewable energy. Our goal is to set a regional shared community. We then turn rely upon PG&E and SCE to deliver it through existing infrastructure to your homes and businesses. And if you need financial assistance, uh, assistance paying our, your bills, you can find available resources from our partners on our website. And Jerry will include the link in our chat box. Um, this includes the new payment plan programs being expanded by the state and administered by your local utility. And now here's a sneak peek of our customer portal, which will be available to all of our customers soon. Uh, we will be releasing the phase one version, which will allow you to access your usage data at different intervals, download your invoices, and view your existing uh, CCCE generation rates. As we collect feedback, we plan to add new functions to provide you with additional helpful information, such as function, uh, that tracks application status for rebates for electric vehicles and bikes. Now, what is changing? Um, how CCC determines the cost of the electricity that you use and when is it going to change? Well, it's going to change in January 2022. The default option is going to uh, take place in January 2022 and is designed to benefit the majority of cu customers. And I will um, walk you through how to elect an alternative in the rare case that the benefit that benefits you. Um, almost everything stays the same, and the rate you have selected with PG&E is not changing. So your bill is only one bill to PG&E, which includes the energy that CCC purchases on your behalf and the cost of PG&E delivering it to your home or business. Our customers can expect to see us appear on the first page of their bill listed as a generation charge. We're not an additional charge. Um, we want to uh, simplify, replace the old generation charges from PG&E since they are no longer uh, sourcing your energy. And we mirror PG&E rate plan that you have selected. For example, if you're on the time of use electric vehicle rate, you don't have to do anything if you like your current rate plan. So again, no new or extra charges on your bill. It con you continue to receive only one electric bill and receive bundle services that include generation, transmission, and distribution charges in one combined rate. Um, and here's another example that appears uh, in your energy statement you will see a breakdown of our generation charges. Uh, the date, to date our CCCE rates for electric generation um, have remained competitive with PG&E's generation rates. We typically apply a discount off of the rates such that customers are paying lower on their energy bills Every month, our pricing structure has followed PG&E's generations rate and has been set by taking PG&E's generations rate and subtracting a 2% discount.
However, following PG&E's generation rates in the long term is not sustainable. As the picture shows, we often have to make changes as many as six times a year to reflect the changes that PG&E makes. And we believe that by um, our rates from PG&E's will provide you with more rate stability and less modifications throughout the year. And to the end, to the end, we are creating a new way of setting CCC's generation rates that will no longer follow the PG&E's generation rates with the goals of providing predictable and stable rates over a three-year period, simple, simpler rates, fair rates across all rate classes, and competitiveness by aiming for CCC's rates that are a minimum of 1% lower than PG&E's generation. And now if you're a residential uh, customer, you may be receiving notices from PG&E regarding the time of use transition, which sets electricity at one cost during the majority of the night and day, and another higher rate from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Whatever selection you made with them, we honor that rate. And I wanna let you all know that if you wanna learn more about time of use, we do have a recorded webinar in our YouTube page and you could, um, Watch this video. There was uh, someone from PG&E who also presented uh, that evening, and we had amazing and great questions. And maybe your question is also there. You'll be able to find it in that video. Now, in 2022, we will begin serving our customers with our new way of calculating the cost of the electricity that you use. Um, these costs can be applied through our default option or the seasonal flat option. And this is specifically our generation services, the cost to buy electricity on your behalf. Now, CCCE's 2022 default option has been designed to be the best option for the majority of our customers. The default rate will continue to mirror the rate plan you are on with PG&E. For the majority of our customers, this is uh, time of use, which is based on time of use periods, which means the cost of energy will vary on the time of day. Now, this is a flexible option, gives customers control on the cost of their energy and the ability to shift their usage behaviors. And for some reason, you don't want our default offering, you have until October 31st to let us know uh, what uh, you would like to elect for the seasonal flat rate. Now, the seasonal flat rate is the set cost of energy at any time of the day, which only varies based on the seasons of winter and summer. And this option is available to all customers who are on a time of use plan with PG&E. And both options will take effect on January 2022. Now, focusing on residential customers, first, here's a closer look of your options. Now, under the default rates, our aim was to keep our pricing simple. If you take a look at the rate sheet, you'll notice that the cost of, uh, of your CCC's generation charges is the same for the currently available uh, time of use rate plans, except for the EV rate plan. Or you can choose to move the seasonal flat rate, which has one flat rate for the summer and another flat rate for the winter. And this option is available until October 31st and we will be able to provide uh, more information uh, shortly. Now for our commercial customers, you have the same two options. Unlike in the previous residential slide, we cannot simplify the information any further than this. However, the idea remains the same. You'll see a similar CCC's cost for certain small medium commercial rates plans. If you look at the rate sheet, you can also opt for seasonal flat rates, which will have one cost in the summer and another cost during the winter for your electric charges from CCCE. Again, the default option will be the better option for the majority of customers. And now for, um, there are customers who have delayed their mandatory transition or are not required to participate in the statewide of use transition administered by PG&E. Now the default option is to have our new uh, CCC generation rates be applied to the periods of our old time of use plan or tier rate plan known as E1. You other, your other option is to opt for the seasonal flat rates which follow the same rule, one cost for the summer and another cost for the winter. And again, the only 
exception are the uh, traditional residential E1 tier customers, you'll have the one default CCC generation price uh, throughout the year. Again, we are honoring legacy rates that customers have with PG&E. And about uh, net energy metering, also known as NEM, I wanna, before I, I get into and in, more into this uh, information, I do want to remind you all that we will be having a webinar for net energy metering next month, and I will be providing those dates so you could sign up um, at the end of the presentation. But customers who transition to the seasonal flat rate will not be eligible to receive the net surplus compensation, also known as NSC for um, generation instead of them customers on the ccc seasonal flat will receive a monthly credit um, that sets a retail value that can be applied to both generation and transmission cost of the entire energy bill however if you choose the default rate you are eligible to receive a net surplus compensation which is set at 4.7 sense. We're highly uh, encouraging you to speak with an energy advisor to evaluate your options, and most customers will find their benefit from the default option. And again, we'll be providing uh, more information. If you have more questions about net uh, energy metering, we'll be having a, a webinar next month. For our customers on care for a medical baseline, you will be receiving a one-time bill credit of $30 from CCCE, which will appear on your February 2022 energy bill and will be automatically, um, you don't have to apply for this credit. So now we're going to provide uh, an overview of the uh, cost comparison calculator so that you can investigate which of the two CCCE service offerings benefits you the most. And this tool takes the data from your monthly usage and provides an estimate of your monthly and annual charges from CCCE generation under each service offering. It's not designed to provide an exact estimate or recommendation. More so, it's an idea of how much you would pay based on the available usage data we have from you. Now, to use the tool, you have to follow uh, the three simple steps. And as you see on the screen, and make sure to enter the first 10 digits only for your PG&E account number. Your last name, exactly how it appears on the energy bill and your account zip code. Um, there are help buttons to show where to find this information and a Spanish button as well. And just going back, uh, we will be providing that link so it's easier for you to click um, and, and do this um, comparison. Now, if you haven't find your account, first, make sure you have entered the information accurately. For example, only enter the first 10 digits of your PG&E accounts. If you still get this error message or can't remember your information, make sure to contact or call uh, our call center and the number is provided on the screen and they could walk you through the process and provide a calculation on your behalf. Now, before you see the calculator, I want to quickly share the additional choice you have during the calculation. At Central Coast Community Energy, we have two energy mix options, uh, 3C Choice, which is our default rate option, and 3C Prime, which is our 100% renewable option. Um, 3C Prime is only 8 tenths of a penny for per kilowatt hour. Now, many customers opt into this energy mix because they have sustainability goals that they want to reach right away. It can also be more affordable to pay the small opt-in fee versus outfitting your home or business with a solar system. Now, once you enter your information correctly, here's an example of what you will see. A side-by-side -side comparison of the monthly cost and annual cost of CCCE generation under each option. And this is calculated applying our new CCCE generation options to your um, existing rate plans. And if this encourages you to choose the seasonal flat rates, you can click on the button outlined in yellow below and it will take you to fill out a form online to opt in. 
You can also use the 3C prime button and which would just add eight cents uh, uh, more to each pricing option. And the button below allows you to opt in into 3C prime and seasonal flat, flat rates. Now, going back to the customers who delayed uh, their transition or are not required to transition um, to the TOU with PG&E, you may still be on a tiered rate plan known as E1, like I mentioned before. And if you try using the calculator, it will only produce a calculation of the default choice for your generation charges because this plan is not eligible for CCCE seasonal flat rates. Now, there are two customers um, that can select the seasonal flat rate before October 31st. We recommend calling the number on the screen if you have multiple accounts. And if you want to do it yourself, you would fill out the form online with your PG&E account information. And we will be sharing all these links in the chat uh, shortly. Now, uh, we record our webinars and post them on our website, YouTube, and Spanish Facebook pages. Um, they will be held in Spanish. We have a frequently asked questions page that you can find on the links shown on the top. You can register for our upcoming educational webinar series by finding our events page, and you can speak with an energy advisor or contact us by email if you prefer. And like I mentioned before, we will be having more webinars. Um, this was our last English, uh, understanding your rate options. We had one on Tuesday and that recording is also going to be on YouTube. Next week, we will be having a Spanish uh, presentation. And for those uh, who would like to uh, learn more about making the move to monthly NEM, we will be having those webinars November 17 and December 14, um, evening hours, both in English. And to register, um, please visit the website below and we will be adding uh, the link into our, our chat box shortly. And this concludes my presentation. We are happy to take questions. I do wanna introduce Jerry and Susan who will be um, answering questions of tonight's presentation. Hi everybody, I'm Susan. All right, Patty, thank you for taking the time. Lots and lots of information. We will post the uh, presentation on our webpage. So if there's just information you want to look, please feel free. We've dropped a lot of information in the chat box. Um, both Jerry and I have been busy in the chat box giving you information. So feel free to take little snapshots of that to reach out um, so you can actually get more information. Um, and if you have a question, on the, the topic now, because we're now going into the Q&A session, please use the Q&A button. So at the bottom of your screen, when you move your mouse around, there's a Q&A, you click on that and you can type in your question. So right. we, we have our first question. Um, Jan would like to know if they're currently a PG&E &E customer, will we not be transitioning to, to Central Coast Community Energy? Um, so, Jan, that really depends on where you your current residence is located. If you are located in Central Coast Community Energy Service Area, you will automatically be transitioned into our service because we um, currently offer the most competitive price and we are the default option for these communities that we serve. Um, so if, if you are within um, Santa, Santa Cruz, um, San Benito, Monterey County, Slow County, or San Northern Santa Barbara County, it's likely that you could already be a Central Coast Community Energy um, customer because we do um, share customers with PG&E. They still handle the transmission of energy through their infrastructure, um, and that portion is still billed by them, but they also handle the billing of the energy itself, um, all in one consolidated and easy process for you. Um, so, so if I was a PG&E customer and I, and I, you know, don't, my bill comes in and I just pay it, where will you show up in my bill, Jerry, if I'm a PG&E customer and I'm actually in, let's say I'm living in Monterey County. 
So if you, um, you know, look at your, your bill on the second or third page, I believe in, you know, in bold text, it says Central Coast Community Energy. And that portion of your bill is strictly the electricity cost itself. Um, whereas on the first page where it says um, Pacific Gas and Electric, that um, portion of the bill is the cost of transmitting the electrons, basically using um, their infrastructure to get you the energy. So I still get one bill, but you're gonna show up as a, pay so Central Coast is gonna be a, a page in my bill so I can actually flip through my bill and see you guys show up. Yes. Perfect, thank you. All right, are you ready for the next question? Uh, Susan, the next question is, is there a rebate for purchasing an e-bike, not an e-motorcycle? How much, and is there a deadline to apply? Am I allowed to say this is my favorite question out of all the questions anybody asks? Sorry, I'm actually, I, I'm, I love e-bikes, so actually uh, this is my favorite question. So yes, we are going to have a rebate for e-bikes, okay, and e-motorcycles and electric vehicles. And so that's part of our energy programs. Um, we'll drop in the chat box and we'll also email you um, where you can find it on our website. Um, you need to know that October 1st is actually our when we start our new year for the business. And so what will happen is, is we we're going to start putting up our new rebates and stuff on the website. Um, so be patient with us um, because it will the e-bike will be showing up on our energy programs website. Awesome. Um, we got a, another question um, from Don about um, are we offering incentives for heat pumps? Um, similar to the the e-bike question, um, those incentives would be through our energy programs. And um, you can find all the information on that for our different programs online. Um, we are currently in process of la launching our various programs. Um, so I'm going to drop a link in the chat um, to our current and past energy programs. Um, and Susan, um, would you mind fielding this question while I gather that link? Um, Lynn would like to know, can you explain how EV2 rate customers are affected, if at all, by the new rate structure? Okay. So because we partner with PG&E on the rates, um, the rate that you have, okay, currently stays the same, all right? So if you're an EV or you're a B1 or something, what's gonna happen is, is that rate class stays the same, okay? And so on what, so we are just a portion of that bill, all right? And so what'll happen is, is you, when you use electricity, then, we will actually, our, our discount, both the ones we just were talking about, the flat rate or the time of use, actually will give you a discount off what you normally pay on the bill, okay? We will still show up on one bill. We're still gonna, we'll be, we'll, you know, so you keep turning the pages of your bill and you'll see pg &E on one page and Central Coast on the next page. You'll see the usage matches the same. So are you gonna be affected? The answer is, no, because one billing, you still get same process, but will your bill be affected? Yes, we expect the rates to be, that we, ex we know the rates are gonna be discounted. And so you will see actually um, less, a lower rate on your page on the Central Coast. That was a long-winded answer, sorry. Nice, thank All you. Right. Thank welcome. you, Susan. Um, we have um, one question left in the, the Q&A box. Oh, another one just came in. Um, I just used the cost comparison calculator. The delta between the rates is 24 cents for a full year. Seems like much to do um, for such a small change. Um, so Adrian, you know, that is a great, um, a, a great thing to bring up. So 
The difference between the default and the seasonal flat rate for most customers is going to be very, very minimal. Um, the default option is, is probably going to be the best option for 95% of our customers. And then um, the difference between the two, because of the way they were designed, um, it's going to be very small. So, you know, you're, you're going to be looking at a small cost differential between the two. Um, really, um, only customers who are abnormally large energy users at you know, um, peak time of day, those are the customers that are gonna see the best benefit from the seasonal flat rate. Um, and you also mentioned um, that your billing information looks a little different um, than the amount that you're seeing. So the calculator utilizes the amount of data we currently have for you. So if you're a recently enrolled Central Coast Community Energy customer, uh, that just means that we only have a small amount of data for you, um, but it is based on your actual usage. And this is also only the generation portion. So when you're using the calculator, um, it is only for the energy portion of your bill. Um, everyone's energy bill is split into two portions, the transmission and distribution, as well as the energy portion itself. And Central Coast Community Energy only provides the energy um, for you. So that is the only portion of your bill that um, is being compared with the calculator. So it will look a little smaller than your total bill value. Thank you. Great questions. All right. We have a question, um, a kind of a NEM question from Margaret. And so she's on the tier rate, which means she's on the legacy rate. Okay. And so what does she need to do to stay with her legacy rate? So Margaret, because um, you opted out of the smart meter. All right, so Margaret, you wanna call the call center, okay? Or email, so the number's here on the screen and email and, and I would call the call center and tell them that you wanna stay with your legacy rate and you are able to stay with your legacy rate, okay? And then they will, they are able to look at your account. They're able to look at your usage. They even actually can, when they're setting there, can actually use the rate calculator. And so our call center team is, is, is very aware of what's going on. And so reach out to them because the legacy rates are pretty rare and we wanna make sure that you get to speak with somebody specifically about your needs and be able to fig figure out how you want, what, what you wanna do going forward, okay? Because that was one of the pages in the slide that said we do honor the legacy rates. And so you wanna speak to our call center. So the 888 number on the screen, okay? All right, um, we have an anonymous question. I used to live in the city and that there were minimum electric charges that were affordable. So that would have been potentially just, you know, there were, that would have been maybe solar or something that if there was a minimum charge up to 10 or 11 bucks. I now live in unincorporated area and the electric charges are significantly higher. So he's said, he or she is saying $230. So where can I find the authority for PG&E to be charging these different rates? So um, that's a difficult question to answer when we're doing a webinar like this. So first, my suggestion is that you pick up the phone also and you call the call center or you email North Support because we don't know what your rate was and what was happening when you lived in the city versus where you're living now and if the rates are the same. And so this is a question that we can't answer but we want you to call the call center and get the information and work through it. And if the call center can't answer a question, they will reach out to the broader team and ask and say, okay, we have customer anonymous and this is what's happening. Um, you know, what, what, what are the next steps? And so we are here to get you that information. So please make sure you take the information on the screen and pick, get your bill out and pick up the phone and call the call center. Um, because you've got a little more detail than we can actually answer in a webinar, all right? All right, next question, Jerry. What is the, for what are winter months and what are summer months in the flat rate? Hi there. Um, so that actually, again, it's gonna be based upon what rate you are on. So um, it, again, the months kind of vary for the different 
different rates. So I think the best bet to get a personalized answer for you would be to reach out via email um, at North support at 3ce.org and ask that question. And that way they can look at your specific account and answer specifically for you. Um, we have another question that asks, do I contact pg e customer service to notify them I own an EV? And do I get a discount for this? Um, yes, definitely reach out to pg e um, because they, they do offer specific electric vehicle rates. Um, so you can call them to see what um, what rate might be best for you. And that is um, Central Coast Community Energy honors whatever selections you make there with pg &E. um, So if you go transition to an EV specific rate with pg and &E, that is what you would be on with Central Coast Community Energy. So please definitely do that. So pg and &E actually does the rates. So like if I wanted to make sure I was on the right rate and then they do the billing and then they do the meters too, right? Yes, that is right. Um, I see a really um, interesting question um, from Dawn and it says, it asks, does Central Coast Community Energy have long-term contracts with generators and solar, wind, and geothermal to help keep our rates down? And, you know, the simple answer to that is yes, Don, we do. Um, we, that is how we um, contract all of our energy um, for our customers um, through clean and renewable resources so much, in fact, and through new, what we hope to be as new resources to fill the grid with green energy that by 2030, 15 years ahead of the state of California's goal, all of our customers will be powered by 100% renewable energy. So yes, that is exactly what we're doing. And that is exactly how year after year, our customers have continued to see a savings by participating in their local community choice aggregate. So um, us, Central Coast Community Energy, that's our entire goal and business model. Um, and that information, is that information ever show up on the bill or where could, if I was a customer, what would I find out a little bit of information about what we actually, what Central Coast actually procures? Is that on our website? Yes, it is. And I can go on um, and try to find the link. Um, Susan, if you wanna field the next question, I can, can drop that in the chat. All right. Thank you for the questions on the procurement because that's really important to all of us. And as we are producing and, and sourcing more green energy, we're very proud of that. So thanks for asking that question. All right, we're gonna to go to the net, we're gonna go back to the anonymous who says, okay, Central Coast appears to be um, on my bill. And so it was about $36 last month and PG&E charges charged 117 for delivery. Is this typical? So that's a great question. So your bill is actually made up of three buckets. One bucket is actually delivery and delivery is like the billing, the meters and the grid, all the wires and such that get the electricity across our central coast. That is what PG&E charges for. And, and then we are uh, usually about 30 to 35% of the bill for electricity. So it looks like if, if we only, you only spent $36, you're being very efficient with your use bill electricity usage. And we are only a portion of the bill. And so our portion of the bill, which is why we're having this presentation, is our goal is to keep our rates more stable and more predictable so that we, you actually understand that this number stays consistent as your energy usage, if your energy usage stays consistent. So great question. Thank you for asking it. All right. We are, we are at 640, 640 in the evening right now. Anybody, any other questions? We have some, a little bit more time. So we wanna give you a last minute opportunity. Oops, the third bucket. Okay, sorry, Adrian asked question again. So there's three buckets. One bucket is, is PG&E's bucket. So that's actually distribution. The second bucket is actually program fees. And that's what the state puts on your bill. So if you turn, your bill, the first page over, you'll see that there's a whole list of fees. And so those fees are actually uh, um, approved by the commission 
and mandated. And so that's another bucket. That bucket is also collected by PG&E and used for, used for different programs. And then the, the last bucket is the generation bucket. And we touch the generation bucket. We're the, we show up as the electric, electrons or electricities generation on your bill. We are, any more questions? Um, we are finished with questions for the moment. And we've been putting all sorts of links. Um, Jerry, one of the customers, one of the customers, one of our um, webinar attendees actually asked, is there any way of getting the information that's in the chat box? Because you and I were putting a bunch of information in the chat box uh, rather than just screenshotting. So, um, this a lot this information we're going to post this presentation right it's going to be on the website so where would they go on the website to go look at our presentation so, so they could actually if you want to save the chat right now um ah. if you look at the type message here box um for the chat box there mm -hmm. is three dots right next to the smiley face and the very first um first option should be save chat so you okay. can, if you wanted say to say that again, say that again, okay? Say that because I was interrupting you. Say that again. So right over by the chat box, um, where you would post um, just a message, there's a smiley face icon, and then to the right of it, there's three dots. So if you click the three dots at the very top, it has the option to save your chat. Okay, I just learned something I didn't know. Thank you. No problem. That was really cool. Yeah, now that makes it really easy to save your chat and you can actually have everything at your fingertips. All right. That's why we put everything in the one place so that you can actually get access to it. So, all right. Any more questions? Last call for questions. We hope this information was a benefit to you. We want to thank you for taking the time in your evening for listening to us. We also want to say thank you for the opportunity to serve you. We appreciate the fact that the energy and the, and the work that we do goes back into the local community. And so we're very, the three of us are very pleased to be able to actually participate in this and share information with you. Yes, so thank gonna... you, Susan. And I am also sharing my screen right now again so I could demonstrate how to save your chat. Um, like Jerry mentioned, you just go up here with the three dots, click save chat and you'll have access to all of the links that jerry posted tonight i do want to say thank you for joining us tonight thank you jerry thank you susan for answering all the questions um feel free to email our call center our phone number is on screen and stay up to date with uh by uh following us on social media at 3c energy both Facebook, Instagram. We also have a Twitter. And for more information, you could visit our website. Again, this presentation will be available in our YouTube channel at Central Coast Community Energy. Susan, Jerry, I'll hand it off to you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Patty, for the great work that you do. Good evening, everybody, and thank you. We're going to actually leave the event now. Um, we're going to give you one more minute to save your chat. So we've shown you a few times how to save the chat. One more time for that. And then we will actually close out our webinar for this evening. Hope you have a great evening. And we look forward to actually serving you energy. Take care. Good night.